from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Hey guys, it's me, Ethan Higgins. Welcome back to episode 7 of Braves Beat. And I'm Maddie Miller. Hey Chorb, did you know today is the 7th day of fall and that there are 84 days left until winter? No, but that's crazy. Well, we have a lot of news to cover. So let's get into it. Starting off with a huge congratulations, our mock trial team earned the World Champion Trophy during the Empire Atlanta International Invitational Tournament, which was held on September 21st through September 24th in Georgia. If you see any of them in the halls, be sure to congratulate them. And another big congratulations to our IH marching band. Our band earned first place in class at Campbell County Band Competition. Moving on to something as equally as exciting, Spirit Week. We here in the studio have made a short video to give you an idea of what you should be wearing next week. Hopefully that got all of you ready for next week. I know I am. Let's see what's going on in sports this week with Luke. Thanks, guys. Your Lady Braves soccer team dominated Baden High School 1-0 and they beat Madeira 1-0 on Tuesday. Great job, ladies. And be sure to come out and support the Lady Braves as they score off against the new Richmond Lions Saturday at home. Game starts at 3 o'clock. The men's soccer team plays Saturday at Taylor. Game starts at 1 o'clock. Good luck, gentlemen. And congrats to Ben Bayless, who broke the school record 5K with a time of 15 minutes and 55 seconds. Our dogmen came off with a great win against Reading. John Mark Williams had a breakout game with 174 rushing yards and two touchdowns. You can catch the dogmen tonight at Marymount. Game starts at 7 o'clock. Thanks, Luke. Now for this very important community service announcement. We need volunteers to help set up for the Pink Ribbon Luncheon this Sunday at the Duke Energy Convention Center at 12 p.m. Students can park in the garage at 6th and Elm or get dropped off at the entrance on 6th Street. If you are interested or have any questions, contact Lynette Weiler at this number. And now let's celebrate our Super Braves for the month of September. Roll the clip. And the lucky winner is Darian Washington. Congratulations to all the September Super Braves. Now let's head over to Luke Johnson while he gets heated with Mr. Ignatz in this week's episode of Hot Ones. Hey there, Indian Hill. Welcome back to Indian Hill Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Today we have Mr. Ignatz in the seat. You may have seen him in class or just roaming the halls with his trademark classy beard. Uh, Mr. Ignatz, how does it feel to be in the seat? Uh, it's, it's an honor. I'm excited to be here. I love chicken wings and hot sauce. And, I'm, and you too. Me too, yeah. yeah. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get it started. This is a secret aardvark. I think it's hovering around the uh, 25,000 Scoville unit range. Okay. Obviously, first question, what would you be doing if you were not a math teacher? You know, I think about this a lot, and I would maybe be an electrician. I don't know. That's I think there's a big need for that. Or, I don't know, I could see myself just renting out surfboards on a beach somewhere. Mm. You know? That's the dream. That is, that would be good life, but Heck yeah. I don't know. Alrighty. Let's dive in. So, uh, what is your favorite mathematical formula? I know there's plenty out there. Man, goodness gracious. That one, that's a tough one, the Pythagorean theorem. That is, yeah, that's a good one. Pretty simple, easy to use, but also very effective. It is. All right. You ready for number three? Yeah, let's Sound keep good. it going, dude. All righty. Okay, let's dive on in there. To the bone. One more in here. Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage. Gotta love it. 
Megadeth? Mm-hmm. That's the band. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a bunch of rapid fire questions. You just got to bring it. Punch right through the heat. Woo! And let's uh, see what happens. So, what is your favorite number? Seven. Favorite TV show? Modern Family. Your favorite day of the year? My wife's birthday. Your favorite holiday? Halloween. Woo! Oh, God, I love it. What's your favorite type of hot sauce? This one. Can we dig in, dude? Heck yeah, we can dig in. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. I would like you to solve this equation on this piece of paper with this pencil. Can you get this out of a book? Uh, We got it out of a brain. That may or may not have gotten it from the book. Tell me, what are you thinking right now? What's going through your brain? One million. Oh, God, dude, I can't focus. Okay, too okay much. let's bring in the answer. It does not look simpler, though. Hot sauce. Let's see, Agrilanzer was, I mean, uh, 8xy squared plus 3x squared y, all that's over 36y squared minus 48x squared. I think we can give it to him. Thank you, Indian Hill, for joining us on this week of Hot Ones. See you next. Speaking about Super and Braves, how about this former student? Becca Gleason, a 2006 Indian Hill graduate, wrote and directed her first feature film, Summer of 03, which is being released on October 5th at the Esquire Theater in Cincinnati. The movie stars Joey King, shown here with Becca. You might remember seeing her in The Kissing Booth, released on Netflix earlier this year. This is an amazing accomplishment by one of our very own IAH alumni. We expect to see more of her work in the near future. Congratulations, Becca. We asked some teachers to give a shout out to students. Let's take a look. Shout out to my third period. Thanks for being quiet today. Shout out to fifth period AP Psychology for winning the Unit 2 test competition. Shout out to the freshman class because they are doing an awesome job this year. You guys are awesome. Shout out to Janice Love. Shout out to all my Algebra 1 and Advanced Pre-Calculus. Shout out Alex Galbraith for rocking it on the AP Stats Test. Shout out to my small but mighty 5th period French 1. Shout out the senior class, my favorite class. I love you guys. Shout out to 5th period A pushers for having the highest test average on the Unit 2 test. Nice job. Good to see our students getting recognized for their hard work. Tonight, our dogmen set out to play Marymount in the 21st annual Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. The game will begin at its normal start time at Marymount High School. You can purchase tickets at the game for $5 for students, $7 for adults, and senior citizens get in for free. You better see you all there in red. And that's all we have for today. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, email us with any school updates. Don't forget to wear red tonight. And don't forget, Monday is PJ Day. Stay classy, Indian Hill. Hill.